The first thing I remember when I was a little kid, I always remember going into my grandfather's basement and seeing the pile of decoys sitting on a shelf. And as a little kid, I'd go down there and play with them. It just stuck. That created a, an image in my head. Marty's dad, I think he, he liked that Marty was carving, um, liked his carvings and stuff. Probably was a lot like my dad, though. Um, they're like, what do you mean you're going to carve for a living? Uh, you're never going to make a living off of that, you know? And he has since shown all of them. <laughs> you can make a living off of something that you love to do. It's a hard question, you know, to answer. Marty's carvings, they're not uh, specific. They're not to any rules. They're, it's his interpretation of a duck, but it's a duck and everyone is different. You know, the things that you can build and create at that point are, are your legacy. You know, these things last hundreds and hundreds of years, and it's a legacy. I just hope everybody understands what it is, and that I can't control. You want the best. You call Marty. Marty is arguably the best carver, the best contemporary carver of our day. It's ingrained in me. It's, I think about it every day. There's not a day that I go without thinking of it. They think it's just something you do as a hobby. It, it encompasses my life. It's not just a finished product, it's all of the preparation and the years and years and years it takes to get to this point. It doesn't happen overnight. Everybody wants it to, it doesn't. Who am I? Um, a decoy maker. Ha, 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 ha.